In the heart of a quiet village nestled between rolling hills and ancient woods, there lived an enigmatic old woman named Agatha. She was known far and wide for her uncanny ability to brew potions that could mend wounds, cure ailments, and even predict the future. The source of her power, however, was a weathered cauldron that had been passed down through generations. The cauldron, a relic of times long past, held secrets known only to Agatha. Legends whispered that it had once belonged to a powerful witch who had met a tragic end. Some claimed the cauldron itself was cursed, its powers intertwined with the vengeful spirit of the deceased sorceress. One gloomy afternoon as the village buzzed with the mundane activities of daily life, a curious teenager named Emma couldn't resist the allure of Agatha's hut. Drawn by the tantalizing aroma of exotic herbs and mysterious concoctions, Emma couldn't resist the temptation to explore the mystical world within. As Agatha busied herself with her potions, Emma seized the opportunity to snatch a small vial of a shimmering liquid from the cluttered shelves. She believed it to be a love potion, thinking it would bring her the affection of the one she secretly admired. Little did Emma know that her impulsive act would unravel a tale of ancient grudges and supernatural retribution. That night, as the moon hung low in the sky, Emma consumed the stolen potion in hopes of capturing the heart of her crush. However, as the liquid touched her lips, an eerie chill swept through the room. Shadows danced on the walls and a voice, ghostly and ethereal, echoed through the stillness. You dare steal from the cauldron of shadows, the voice intoned, sending shivers down Emma's spine. Justice shall be served. From that moment on, Emma's life took a sinister turn. Strange occurrences haunted her every step. Objects moved of their own accord, whispers echoed in the dead of night, and ghostly figures flickered at the edge of her vision. Terrified and desperate, Emma sought the wisdom of the village elders. Through ancient scrolls and whispered tales, they unraveled the curse that now gripped Emma's existence. The cauldron, it seemed, was not just a vessel for potions, but a conduit for the tormented spirit of a witch named Serafina. A once benevolent healer, Serafina had been betrayed and condemned to a tragic fate. The village elders, recognizing the gravity of the situation, initiated a ritual to commune with Serafina's spirit. As the veil between the living and the dead thinned, the vengeful witch's story unfolded. Emma, now a reluctant participant in the unfolding drama, listened as Serafina recounted the theft of her prized recipes and the betrayal that led to her demise. Determined to right the wrongs of the past, Emma, guided by the village elders, embarked on a perilous journey to return what was stolen from the cauldron. The closer she came to completing the task, the more intense the supernatural disturbances became. Serafina's spirit, torn between vengeance and redemption, manifested in ethereal forms, urging Emma to fulfill her quest. In a climactic confrontation at the heart of the ancient woods, Emma returned the stolen potion to the cauldron, breaking the curse that bound Serafina's spirit. As the mists of the curse lifted, the village echoed with an otherworldly wail, followed by a serene calm. The cauldron, once a vessel of vengeance, now stood silent and still. Emma, exhausted but triumphant, returned to the village as whispers of her bravery spread like wildfire. The tale of the cursed cauldron became a cautionary story, a reminder that meddling with the secrets of the supernatural could unleash forces beyond comprehension. As for Agatha, the mysterious old woman continued her potion-making, the weight of the past lifting from her shoulders. The village, forever changed by the ordeal, carried the lessons learned from the cursed cauldron through generations, a testament to the enduring power of ancient magic and the consequences of tempting fate. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for our future upcoming videos.